Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and I'm always being asked, what are the habits of successful people? What is it that successful people do habitually every single day that leads to them being in the top 20% of money earners in our society? Well, Aristotle said that 95% of everything you do is the result of habit. So the rule is form good habits and make them your masters rather than allowing bad habits to form. In fact, the other rule says this, is that good habits are hard to form, but easy to live with. Bad habits are easy to form, but hard to live with. Now, one of the turning points in my life and my studies of psychology was the discovery that all habits are learned and can be unlearned. Actually, you don't actually unlearn a habit. You simply replace a bad habit with a good habit that has more powerful power and impact. And how do you develop a good habit? You develop a habit by repetition. Almost everything you do from the time you get up in the morning is habit. So start to think about yourself. What would be the best habits to have? Now, I have written a book called Million Dollar Habits. It has 12 chapters, 12 critical areas of life. And in each chapter, there's 20 or 30 habits. So let me give you some of the best. Number one, develop the habit of daily goal setting and goal orientation. What does this mean? It means when you go to sleep at night, think about your goals for the coming day. Make a list for each day of all the goals, the little goals you're going to accomplish that day. Keep a journal and write down your goals on a regular basis. When you're driving through the day, think about your goals. When you're talking to other people, think about your goals. You see, you do become what you think about most of the time. You do achieve what you think about most of the time. So all successful people and all wealthy people think about their goals most of the time. Second of all, be results-oriented. Now, results-oriented people are always thinking of the most important things that they can do right now to achieve their most important results. Successful people make a list of everything they have to do, and before they start working, they set priorities on the list. Here's a great way to become result-oriented. Actually, it's life-changing. Ask yourself, once you have your list for the day, if I could only do one thing on this list before I was called out of town for a month, what one activity would I want to be sure to get completed? And put a circle around that and start on that activity immediately, first thing, and then discipline yourself to work nonstop until you complete that one activity. This simple technique has taken people from rags to riches all over the world for at least 100 years. Pick your most important task and start on it immediately and then discipline yourself to stay with it until it's complete. Another habit that you can establish is to become people-oriented. Recognize that everything that you achieve in life is going to be with the help or support or cooperation of other people. So always think, what is it that other people want and need from me? How can I help other people so they'll want to help me back? If you're in sales, Top salespeople think about their customers all the time. They think about who their customers are and what their customers want and how they can help them the most and how they can help them even more today. In their relationships, successful people are very focused on the most important people in their worlds, both personal and in business. Another habit you can have is to stay health-oriented. Think about your health most of the time. Think about eating less food and better food. Think about daily exercise. Think about getting lots of rest. Remember, to be successful in our competitive world, you need a lot of energy. To have a lot of energy, you've got to eat good foods, get lots of rest, and exercise all the time. One of the most important habits is that of character and honesty, is always tell the truth no matter what the price. And the final characteristic, the final habit, is that of self-discipline. And I have written and spoken upon this for years and years and years, but self-discipline seems to be the foundation habit that makes everything else possible. And the best definition of self-discipline is that self-discipline is the ability to make yourself do what you should do, when you should do it, whether you feel like it or not. You see, anybody can do it if they feel like it. It's when you don't feel like it and you do it anyway that you eventually develop the self-discipline that makes everything else possible. Thank you for watching. What is the one habit that you should start to develop right now that will help you more than any other habit 
to achieve your most important goals. Whatever it is, start practicing this habit every day until it becomes automatic and easy.